Hi everybody, it's Christina and thank you for joining me. So today I'm here with the A6 collection and we have a flat fronted envelope, a box and a card set, we have some nesting dies, some border dies and some circular sentiments. So in this one we're going to create a card with a box. So my colour scheme for today's video is going to be teal and white and if you want everything to match then you have to make sure that you have enough card to complete your project. So from the card and box die set I'm going to cut my box base and its lid from the teal card. So there are the two pieces for my box, my box base and my box lid and these three will add some pattern to the side. Now I'm going to use that for the white and I'm going to use the stitched one and cut that in teal. So we'll just use two layers and these will go all around the box. So once I have these pieces cut, I can glue these to the panels on my open box. And then from the layered die, I have cut a piece, piece in white. And from this pattern die, I've cut another piece in the teal. And they're going to sit on my box. So I'm going to glue those in place first of all, and then I'll come back to you. So once you have these glued in place, you can take a punch and just cut out these little finger lifts on the side. But I don't have a circular punch anymore, so I'm just going to take the die and I'm going to half cut it out of each side. So with those now cut out, we can start to fold the box up. And we'll start with the base first. So we're going to fold all these side pieces and the tabs in. You need to start with the, the base first because you have to create the lid around the base. So once you've done that now you can add your glue to these tabs. And then you can fold those in. and fasten the other piece to it. So you're bringing that in and you're bringing that piece up. And that's your base now created. And it's quite a deep base. So you can add several cards to this box if you wish. Or you can add lots of dimension to one or two and pop them into the box. So there's the base made. Now for the lid we're going to fold it in exactly the same and then we're going to fit this around the base. So we're just going to sit it on there, make sure that the tabs go underneath. And there's your finger lifts to lift it off. So now once you've done that, you can start to glue these in place. And you're not going to fold it tight, but you are going to make sure that it closes. Now you can, if you wish, use these dies to create your base card, but the easiest way I find to create an A6 base card is to take an A4 sheet of card, fold it in half, and then simply cut it in half. And that will give you two cards that will fit very neatly into your box. So with the scalloped edge die, I have cut two panels, and with the detailed die, I have cut two more. And that now will match the front of my box. So there's my two card bases ready for decorating and the sentiment adding. So I'm going to glue this flat glue onto my, um, my white base. 
and then I'm going to add the white base with some foam tape underneath it just to raise it up a little bit So now I have my two cards made and my box laid and I'm going to decorate these all the same. So from the sentiments I have stamped and embossed and die cut some sentiments out and they're going to sit on my card and because I'm going to put two cards in one box I won't put a sentiment on the box. Now I've also cut some flowers and some leaves and some flourishes so I've used these flourishes cut these silver ones from turquoise, a paler turquoise and some lemon I have cut my flowers and simply because I love the leaves that are in this set I've used the rose flourishes and I've cut myself some leaves to go on my card. I've also cut some of these little sprigs as well and they're also going to be added to my cards and my box. So for each item I have three flowers, one large set of leaves, two flourishes and two little um, sprigs. And all I'm going to do is just put some shape into these petals. So now having a dry run we can add all these pieces to our card. So I've split my leaves so that I can get them a little bit closer together. I've put some shape into my flowers. I'm going to add all the other little bits in as well. So we'll add these down here. This is just a dry run. I've glued nothing in place as yet. we're just seeing where we like things. So we can have all these down here and have the little leaves in just along there and there's the others. They've not been glued yet either, they're all just dry run. So I'm going to go away now and glue these in place and then I'll come back to you. So to finish these off I've added some little diamantes into the centre of the flowers and I've cut that extra white piece to go in there. And then to really finish this off, I've decided to use the envelope die and create some envelopes. So that these will then just fit nice and neatly into the envelope and into the box. So there is the A6 collection, the card and box, the flat fronted envelope, the circular sentiments. I haven't used the other two dies in this set, but we've created a box, we've created two cards, and I've also created envelopes to go with the cards for your recipient to send out through the year as they would like. You will find that you can get as many as six cards in this box and that would make a really pretty gift to give to somebody for a special birthday or for Christmas. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please join me on the next one. And please subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, then you'll always be aware when I add a new video. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.